And what's up everybody, welcome back to another video here with Midwest Ag. Last time you seen me, I was just finishing up baling some hay. So today, I gotta make a couple orders as I did sell some more equipment at the dealership. So, we gotta get that taken care of real quick. So let's get after it. Good morning y'all. Just getting here, getting my coffee all ready. Letting it brew up here in my wonderful Keurig. Uh, coming over here and as you guys can see, this is the greatest view anybody could ever ask for. I got cows out here and got a chicken up on the wall and then I got trees that I can't even you know see through I never did get around to it when I you know put the house here but there's no sidewalk it's just a it's kind of like front patio come out here watch the sun go down watch people drive by at about 120 mile an hour wondering where they're going in such a hurry but got a lot of work to do today I know we need to get our cows fed this morning yet, and I do need to, I guess, show you guys some of the new additions that we got since you've seen me last. Uh, as you can see, we got the Shootermaker Vertigo 180 here. This is going to be our main ticket item here to feed our cows. Once we get silage done going this next fall, before we get corn harvest going, that is, that is what we're going to be using to get our cows fed. We just need to be able to have silage. We need to be able to have either haylage, silage, hay, importantly, some straw, which we haven't got straw yet. We don't have any wheat, so we still need to work on that. Now, the other thing, another new addition. So as you guys can see, the 4755 is as clean as a whistle. It looks brand new, but we have this brand new, to me anyway, Great Bend 760 loader with the grapple buckets on here. This is going to be used to grab bales. This is going to save me some time. Now, the next thing I could do is load everything up on the trailer, but I have all my fertilizer and what's left of my seed left on this trailer. I did wash the tractor, but I kind of left the planter a little bit dirty. Kind of said, screw it, you know, it can get washed at a different time. We'll let the mud get all caked on, and man, I think we'll just make the new guy at the dealership kind of wash it off. I've been so swamped at work that I did not have any time to even put all my bales into a nice pile. So I kind of like thought this was like the next most convenient option, which re realistically is not. The other day, I got called into work and it was kind of, I was expecting it. I mean, nonetheless, I haven't been at work for the last three days. They said they haven't needed me there because no maintenance is going on right now. People have kind of slowed down on their planning. I did need to get into work. I needed to get some things done. And then lo and behold, the two neighbors that we had, they decided that they wanted to make some purchases. One was coming to pick up a purchase that they made about a week ago. And I asked why he was so late. And I guess his excuse was, well, his uh, his other partner that I guess ordered the equipment was uh, on a hunting trip or something like that. So, of course, I was like, all right, well, I mean, it's been sitting here for a while. I thought about using the planner, but... I I had to hold my uh, hold my tongue on it and not use it. The other neighbor that's down here, he actually went through and he bought himself, I think it was a whole hay setup. He went and bought a 7810, bought a baler that's just like mine, which is, I mean, I think that's the whole reason I got him sold on it because I have one and I was able to exactly tell him how good it works. And then he bought a little mower and then he bought a, I think it was a K brand wind rower. And then I think that was it. But eventually, I do need to get that stuff uh, delivered to them. Don't know exactly when that's going to be. I haven't gotten a call for it yet. So I'm going to make sure that I get all my work done before I have to go back into work. All right, right now, I'm just going to be taking the old Fummins up to the co-op. Just opened up, I think it was about three days ago. I seen the ad in the paper, and I was wondering, you know, I should go up there and I should get some prices priced out for what I need to get sprayed. Also, need to figure out if they if it's too late for them to do lime for me if they can ap applicate some lime but we'll have to see what they can do i'm gonna get up there i'm gonna talk with them you no know, i always did like rolling across the old scale to see exactly how much everything weighs i'm in at 7267.9 pounds that is I, I think that's about right i think their scale is pretty accurate but at first glance wow they really have everything going on here they have all the spraying all the seed tenders that you could ever ask for they even have the cool ones where I could put the probe boxes on there. And then they got, I think, I think those are lime, lime spreaders over there. I could use it to spread salt on the road when, when it decides to snow. But I think this is their office up here. So I'm going to walk up here. I'm going to talk with the guys and see what I can get for a price. Well, hello, sir. How are we doing? Oh, not too bad. I'm doing pretty good. Um, hey, I was just wondering. So I have, it's about 80 acres, give or take 10, 5 acres or so. I, I mean, I, get, I guess that's a pretty big difference it's about 80 let's just say it's 80 acres and i was wondering if i could get some 
herbicides put down as well if uh, I could get lime applicated shortly before that. If I was wondering if that was even a possibility, even though it's already getting into May. I know it's a little late to be doing that, but I was looking at my pH values on my soil and we're kind of sitting a little bit off. Okay, so you can get in. All right, that, that works for me. Um, what would your prices be for all that? 80 acres, about 20,000. Okay. Probably don't want it. Nah, you know what? Never mind. I'm not, I'm not even going to haggle with you on that one. 20000 I think, is a fair price since it is late and you guys don't want to be running into the season too long. I know you guys have a lot of people to take care of. Yeah, I'll make sure I send that check to you guys. Uh, you guys are going to be coming around in about a week or so. All right, sounds good. Appreciate it. Thank you. Well, I'm very surprised I was actually able to get an order in pretty, pretty last minute, but they said that they've been busy and they're just starting to slow down. They should be able to have enough time to get me in to, you know, get my field sprayed. But right now I'm going to be taking the, the old Fummins. I'm going to go back to the farm. I'm going to do a couple things, and then I'll get back with you guys as soon as I finish up. All right, so kind of what I've been doing is I paired all the bales up, and then I'm grabbing them in pairs. And I'm kind of over here just utilizing this, uh, I think it's an old manure bunker. That's exactly what it is. Well, I mean, that's that's definitely what it is. I know exactly what the, what it is. And we're just kind of dropping the bales off in here. Putting them in rows. Uh, I think we got three more pairs left, so we're going to have, I think, one excess pair sitting outside of the bunker, but that'll be all right. Nothing too big to worry about. But I think we got these last two pairs to pick up, and we should be done with the rest of our bales. We did get a movement out of the field, so the wife should be happy that I at least did something to kind of make the yard look a little bit beautiful. Um, but yeah, wait, hold on. All right, I'm getting a call from my boss. I'm going to take this real quick, and I'll get back with you. All right, well... So that was my boss that called, and he said that before the end of today, I need to get those piece of equipment that Nate ordered delivered to him. He said that the delivery instructions are going to be posted on a piece of paper that's going to be inside the office. So I'm going to just go see if I can find those. I'm going to drop these bales off here real quick. I'm going to hop in my pickup, and I guess I'm going to be heading back to the dealership. I'm going to get all that equipment delivered to Nate. All right, let's see if I can find these delivery instructions here real quick. It says, take... County Road 1, 2 and a quarter miles to east, then County Road 5, south, and then it says deliver by the field. Oh, that's that's insane. All right, so if we look at my map here, here's where we are, and this is County Road 1. So we got to take County Road 1 from our main road that heads north a couple miles over, and then it says take County Road 5. So I'm going to assume is these fields here, and I'm pretty sure there's buildings right in this area. So, I mean, I guess that's that's probably where we're going to be dropping them off. First, I do need to find a shop tractor because I don't know if we have one sitting around anymore. Oh, perfect. Well, the 4240 is definitely going to have to work for this. Got this thing, got this old rusty, trusty piece of equipment going. I guess I got to use the, the lawn ornament, the 5020, but I probably would have got my uh, butt chewed for that one. So we're going to move the... Baylor, and we are going to move the mower onto the trailer here, and we're going to get back when we get everything delivered. All right, so I just turned off County Road 1 onto County Road 5, and I don't know exactly where this place is supposed to be at. I should definitely call back and be like, yeah, delivery instructions are unclear. It didn't get to its location. I don't know. I think, well, maybe, I don't know. This is kind of a sketchy little driveway. Maybe this is it, though. We're going to drive up here, and we're going to see. I see some buildings, though, so maybe. I think, uh, oh, yeah, this is definitely it. Okay. I'm going to go find a good place to put this. Hopefully, he's got a tractor I can kind of, like, remove all this equipment with because I'm not keeping the trailer here. I don't, I'm not going to do that. It looks like he's got a tractor in here. Appears to be a 4230 on a International 950 Cyclo planner. Hopefully, uh, well, you know what? He probably ain't going to find out that I use this. Anyway. I'll put everything back exactly how I found it. Man, this is already sketchy. Loading this thing was already terrible because I had to just roll it up on, on the roller wheels up here. But it's just going to scrape the entire bottom off, like, all the way through when I pull this off. So this is going to be real fun. Kind of see how this looks. Oh, man, the wheels aren't even spinning. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. You know what? You know what? He, he, he won't know. We're just going to pull it up here in the shed, park it, and... I'll give him a call and be like, yep, all right, delivered your stuff. You should be good to go. Well, that was all it took to get everything unloaded. Everything's looking nice in here. At least the uh, mower came off really nice. But we're going to get this uh, planter hooked up real quick, 
and all I got to do is just kind of hook it up, pull it forward, and we should be good. And just like that, it looks like I never used it. I think it's even back in the old tire tracks, too. Oh, yeah. All right. We're going to get ourselves all pulled it up here with the ramps, and we're going to drive on back to the dealership. So everything's back here at the dealership. I got to drive up to the co-op, and I'm going to go pick up our lime spreader, and I'm going to get heading back to the farm. And hopefully, well, actually, before I get heading back to the farm, I'm, I'm going to fill it up with some lime before we get heading back, so that way I don't have to drive all the way back and forth and trying to figure out how I'm going to get lime here and lime there. I'll just go load up with lime there at the co-op and drive the lime spreader back to my farm. I think I got it all backed up perfectly. All right, yeah, sweet. So we're just going to get this loaded up here real quick, put it on the tongue, and just like that, it's crazy it actually fit over the ball on my hitch. I think this is where we fill up with lime too, so that's pretty convenient, so let's get filled up here real quick. All right, this, this drive is going to take a little while. I really can't go over 25 mile an hour with these ag tires on here because they'll just, they'll just blow apart at the seams. I'm going to take a nice little slow drive back to the farm. I want to give a quick shout out to Nate, Williams, and Chestnut for inviting me onto this series. I really appreciate you guys. If you guys want to go subscribe to them, their YouTube channels will be down in the description. As for this video, I want to thank you all for watching as I swerve all over the road trying to maintain this going here. But if you guys really enjoyed the video, I want to see more videos like this, please don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to Midwest Ag for more. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.